Good morning, it's me again. I am back talking about Christmas. Well, more specifically, I'm talking about Advent. Advent is the time of waiting. How long is Advent? It's four weeks long. That means Advent is 28 days long. On the children's chain, day one, here starts on November 29th. That's next week. Advent starts next week and will continue through Christmas Eve. Now, it's a time of waiting. What are we waiting for? Some of us are waiting for packages we've ordered from Amazon. Some of us spend the time waiting by decorating maybe putting up a Christmas tree, shopping and buying gifts. One of the decorations that I grew up with is called a nativity set. This is my very first nativity set that I got. I got it kind of in college. Most nativity sets will have a house of some kind. And at the very minimum, they will have a couple figures. This one is Joseph. What was Joseph waiting for? He was probably waiting for the birth of his son just as much as Mary was. They were called as part of a census to travel. Mary being very pregnant was probably waiting for the donkey ride to end so they could arrive where they were. Baby Jesus waiting to be born. The wise men waiting for that sign in the sky that would tell them the Savior, after hundreds of years of waiting, has been born. We know the end of the story. We know that we celebrate Jesus' birthday on December 25th. What are we waiting for? As we wait, we are preparing our hearts. We're making room for Jesus, for the Savior. We do that by daily prayer. We do that by daily scripture, by reading the Bible. Most Advent calendars have something to do. Day one, it says, say an extra prayer for someone you love. And day two on this one, it says, call a grandparent or another relative. Advent is not just waiting like you're waiting in a line. Advent is waiting with excitement with preparation, knowing that Jesus is born in the world and that we have salvation through him. I hope you have a great Sunday and I will see you guys later. Bye.